Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Steve here, and this video right here might be one of the most important videos you ever watch, and I'm going to tell you why. I want to talk to you about the similarities between life and poker and how you only have two choices, always. Now, I want you to watch this whole video because at the end of this video, I've got two free bonuses that I'm going to be giving you, but you've got to watch all the way to the end, and I'm going to tell you what those are. But you gotta wait till the end to get those bonuses, okay? So first of all, here's what I love about poker. If you guys don't know me, I love playing poker. I love it. I love it. I love the strategy. I love the thrill. I love the math and the statistics. I just love poker. But there's something I love more about poker than anything else, and that is choice. Choice. You know, when you get dealt a hand in poker, it's up to you. You can hang on to that hand of poker, or you can throw it away. Right? You can toss it and get dealt a new hand of cards, right? That's the beautiful thing about poker. The hands keep coming. You don't like this one? Throw it away, get another one. You don't like this one? Throw it away, get another one. You get to choose which hand that you decide and say, this is the one. This is the one I'm going all in on. This is the one I'm pushing my money, my, my chips into the pot because this is the hand that I believe in. I went through a bunch of crap. I found a good hand. This is the one that I'm going for. And you always have that choice. You can either keep that hand or you can throw it away. And there's nobody, you know, breathing down your neck. There's nobody holding a gun to your head, making you hold on to a crappy hand for the whole game, you know, all night. Oh, I really wish I could throw this hand away. This hand sucks. I'm never going to win with this hand. What the hell am I doing with this hand? No, you can throw it away and you can get another hand. They keep coming. And that's the beautiful thing. And guess what? We have that exact same choice in life. And yet there's some kind of disconnect where people feel like they got dealt a crappy hand and they just hang on to it for their entire life. Even though there is still no one breathing down their neck, no one holding a gun to their head saying, you have to hold on to this hand. You cannot have another hand. You have to keep this hand. No, there's no one doing that. There's no one saying that. But... People feel like they're stuck with the hand they're dealt. They just resign themselves to the fact that this is the life that I've got. This is the lot that I have to live. This is the crappy hand that I've been dealt. And that's how it is. And nothing could be further from the truth. Because you have the same choice in life that you do in poker. If you have been dealt a crappy hand, if you don't like the cards that you're holding, throw them away and get a new hand. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, Dr. Steve, it's a lot easier to throw away a couple of cards than it is to throw away my situation in my life. And you might be true. That might be true. You might be right. But it's that limiting belief that's preventing you from even trying to get a new hand. Because the longer and tighter you hold on to that crappy hand, the more you're going to hate it and the longer you're going to have it. It all begins with saying, I'm going to lay this down. I'm throwing this hand away. I need to get dealt a new hand. You have to make that decision. But you have to make the decision. And then you have to do something about it. You have to take a step in the forward direction to say, I've got to get rid of this crappy hand. I can't play this hand for the rest of my life. I'm unhappy. My family is unhappy. I can't do the things that I want. I can't go to the places I want to go to. I hate my job. I hate my boss. I'm underpaid. I'm overworked. How long are you going to play that hand? Seriously. You deserve everything that you want out of life. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to do anything and everything that you want. You deserve to drive the car that you want. You deserve to live in the house that you want. You deserve to go on the vacation that you want. You deserve whatever it is you want. But as long as you're holding on to that crappy hand that you've been dealt, you're never going to get those things. You have to make a conscious decision to say, I need to fold this hand. I got to get another one. But no one's going to deal it to you. You have to go get it. You have to make a decision. You have to make a choice and you have to go get it. Guys, I made that same decision. I know you guys think, oh, you know, Dr. Steve, you're a doctor. You're, you know, you're rolling in dough. You're successful. You're wealthy. You're a doctor. You got to practice. No. Just a few short years ago, I was having trouble paying my mortgage. My wife and I were fighting all the time. You know, one of the biggest fights that people have in relationships is about money. 
Money, religion, and sex. Those are the three big arguments that most couples have, and we were arguing about money. Why? Because we didn't have any. That's when you argue about money. When you have a lot of money, nobody's arguing about money because you have it. So just a few years ago, I couldn't pay my mortgage. We couldn't go on vacation. We couldn't give our kids the things that they wanted or needed. It sucked. I hated it. I felt terrible, especially as you know, a father, a husband, a provider, to not be able to do those things for my family. I mean, it's just like a you know, it's like a gut twisting wrench in there, and it's it's terrible. You might be able to relate to how I feel because I felt that same way. But then I found that I didn't have to stay in that situation. And guys, there's a lot of stories just like mine. I spent a lot of time and a lot of money becoming a doctor, but that doesn't mean that I have to stay doing the same thing my entire life just because that's where I started. And you don't either. You don't either. You need to get a fresh hand. You need to get a fresh set of cards dealt to you. But you've got to make the decision to go get it. I encourage you, I implore you, make that conscious decision right now. So you know what, Dr. Steve? You're right. I can't play this crappy hand anymore. I'm not happy in life. My wife is not happy or my husband is not happy. My significant other is not happy. We are not happy. We don't have what we want. We can't do what we want. This is not the life we thought we were going to have. You don't have to hold that hand anymore. You don't. Make a decision to fold that hand and go get a new one. There is a link below this video that talks about what I've been doing and how I've been able to fold that crappy hand, get a new one, and start winning. And start winning. Start collecting chips from that pot. And start having more money to do the things that I want to do, that I need to do for my family. You can do the same thing. Click the link. Watch the video. Jump in. Get started. Start playing a new hand. Now, am I guaranteeing that the next new hand you play is going to be a winner? No. But just like in poker, you keep throwing away the crappy hands until you find the winner. And then you push all in. That's what I'm encouraging you to do. Click the link right below this video that says learn more about what I've been doing so you can learn about it too. And so you can start a new hand. Because nothing will change until you change. Until you start playing a new hand, you're going to keep getting the same results. And if your results have been lousy, you're going to keep getting lousy results. So the two bonuses I promised you. For anyone, anyone who wants them, I'm going to give you two things. Two things. I'm going to give you a free copy of our Top Producer Formula Handbook. We're selling these. I'm going to give it to you for free. Top Producer Formula Handbook that's going to show you what you need to do to start winning, to start playing a new hand, to start creating success for yourself and for your family and for your future. That's number one. Number two is I'm going to give one hour of one-on-one -on -one private coaching to anyone who gets started with me. I charge $500 an hour for private coaching, guys. I'm going to give this to you for free. I'm going to give you our top producer formula handbook for free, and I'm going to give you an hour of one-on-one -on -one private coaching to get you going in the right direction for free. All you have to do is get ready to play a new hand. Click the link below this video that says learn more about what I've been doing. Get started. Get in. And you're going to get those two bonuses and a whole lot more. So guys, don't keep holding on to that crappy hand for the rest of your life. Those cards are never going to change until you throw them away and get new cards. They will never change on their own. So guys, I hope I hope I made my point. I hope you get it. I hope you are ready to fold. I really do. I hope you're ready to fold that crappy hand, get a new one, start working with someone else who understands what it's like to be dealt some lousy cards and go get some new ones. That's it, guys. Check out the link below. Connect with me on social media if you have questions. And I hope to see you on the inside. Good luck.